What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I'm going to take a look at one specific Travis Scott picture taken by Race Corrupted Mind. He's a photographer and you guys told me about him so I checked him out. I love his pictures and I want to show you how to create or recreate this film look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. Now I've created a preset on exactly this Travis Scott Race Corrupted Mind look that you can use for your Instagram to just easily paste to every one of your pictures without having to toggle along to this whole tutorial. You can find it on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in that all presets pack along with another Travis Scott preset, ASAP Rocky, Gunnar Stahl, Jaden Smith, and many, many more presets to really upgrade your Instagram account. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell so you won't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything that you need from me, any requests that you have, I'm always open. Just feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, or you could also just comment under this video. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. You will need your smartphone, of course, and the first thing I want you to do is open up that free Lightroom app. In this case, I've chosen a picture of a German rapper, uh, Reezy is his name because it comes really close to that setting of the picture that we want to imitate. So you hit the light down here, go to curve on the upper right, and I want you to copy this curve exactly as it is right here. So just slightly pull down the highlights a little bit and then create a second node to just create that little bow and not that straight line. So once you have this curve copied exactly as it is right here, you're done here. And we just want to pull down the highlights a little bit to negative 17 in this case. And the shadows, we want to boost them up all the way to plus 50 and pull down the whites all the way to negative 29 right here. And the blacks, pull them down as well to negative 40. 41 is good. And then we're done with the lights. We go over to color. And here we just want to boost the temperature a little bit to plus 17 to add that orange tint to the uh, picture. And for the tint, we just want to hit plus one to go to that purple a little bit. And then the saturation, we just want to pull down just slightly to negative 14 right here. So we scroll up, hit the color mix on the upper right. And for the red tones, we just wanna boost the hue to plus 21 in this case, and leave the saturation and luminance as they are. The orange tones, we want to pull the hue down to negative six or five, and boost the saturation all the way to plus 51. Now, depending on your skin tone, uh, you might just change the, the numbers for the orange tones a little bit, but in this case, these are the numbers and luminance, we just wanna boost that up to plus 70 to really brighten that up. And the yellow tones, we pull down the hue to negative 40, 41 right here. And now this is really gonna affect uh, the plants in the background. We want them to look uh, really orange or yellow, like on that um, Travis Scott Race Corrupted Mind picture. So the saturation, we want to boost up all the way to plus 54 and the luminance as well, all the way up to plus 44 right here. Now the green tones, same thing, affecting the plants in the background, pull the hue all the way down to negative 100 to get them really orange and boost the saturation all the way to plus 70 one in this case and boost the luminance as well all the way to plus 80 84 is good now the aqua tones we want to pull all the way down for the hue to negative 100 and pull down the saturation to negative 25 and the luminance we want to boost all the way up to plus 100 right here and now the plants in the background are really as yellow and orange as it gets. So the blue tones, we want to boost the hue to plus 18 right here or 17. The saturation, we want to pull down to negative 39 or 40 even and pull down the luminance to negative 30. 
six right here. Now the purple tones, we just pull down the saturation a little bit to negative 40, and the pink tones, same thing, saturation down to negative 64 is good. So we're done here. We go over to the effects, and we want to boost the texture a little bit to plus seven, and pull down the clarity to negative 28, and dehaze to plus 14 to get a little bit of that crisp back. And then we want to add a lot of grain. So we pull the grain slider up to 21 right here. And um, that should look almost perfect. Now we just want to get the colors a little more into that orange area. So we hit the split toning on the upper right. And for the highlight hue, we want to pull over to a hue of 40, around 45 and saturation of 31 is good. Now the shadows, we want to pull the hue a little bit towards that green area to let's say 120 around that, but a really small saturation, low saturation of five is good. So it's 121 and five, that's perfect. We are done here. And this is the final result. I think we came super close to that race corrupted mind picture of Travis Scott. And as I said before, I've created a preset on exactly this race corrupted mind Travis Scott um, picture. So you don't have to follow along to the whole tutorial and you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures. It's on my website. The link is under this video. Go check that out for sure. It's in that all presets pack. And there are many, many more presets. Travis Scott, ASAP Rocky, Gunnar Stahl, Tyler the Creator, Jaden Smith, you name it. So a lot of presets for you. And if you haven't already, make sure to also subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials because they could be one of your requests. If you have anything you want me to take a look at, let me know on Instagram at Stephen Womack. Feel free to DM me and I'll try to create a video based off uh, your look that you requested. So I'm happy to hear from you. You can also comment under this video. Thank you so much for watching, for the love, for the support. I'm really enjoying the growth of this channel right now. I try to keep pumping out videos as fast as I can for you. So keep me busy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.